that just sometimes forces people to do something that they would normally not do. It's true. It's true. Huh? Oh. But anyway, um, I believe this is uh, PB and J PB versus PB and J versus Z Bat. Who? I think this is Z Bat. Okay. Where is he from? He's another Michigan local. Um, I don't actually know a whole lot about him, per se. Um, he's a little newer to the melee scene, and um, I don't really keep up with the Michigan melee scene a whole lot. Uh huh. Um, but from what I hear, he's very good. Um, I mean, he's on top eight, so he can't be bad, right? That's true. Duly noted. Uh, seems to be like another spacey player. Um, I think he is the fox, though, because I think PB and J is the top. Oh, really? Yeah, PB and J. Wait, so you've always seen um, Z-Bat play Fox, right? Um, I, when I have seen him play, he did play Fox. Gotcha. However, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about him because he's a little newer to the scene. Mm -hmm. But True, and there are a lot of spacey mains who dual main Fox and Falco. Yeah, so. for sure. Ooh. Multi shines. These guys are trying to put on a show here. <laughs> All right, hopefully um, <laughs> their their hands are ready. So I'd definitely like to see a, an exciting, explosive, hyperkinetic space animal match, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely one of the things I like most about this game. If they're so fast-paced, the combos are ridiculous, and they never look the same. You know, some players tend to throw in some, you know, a little bit of flavor into their combos. Yeah, everybody plays this matchup a little differently. That's why I like uh, to see either, like, Falco Ditto's, Fox Ditto's, Falco versus Fox. Like, any of those matchups are just, like, they're fun to watch. Alrighty, well. Because nowadays, if you don't throw your own spin on it, then people are going to know what you're going to do. You're so right about that, especially with everybody smash DIing nowadays. Yep. Yeah. And so. with so with so many uh, with so many uh, people playing spaces nowadays, it's just you gotta make something, at least something different for yourself, or else you're just you're not gonna make it as a spacey main anymore, sadly. Oh, dirt. Okay, so Zbet is the Falco. I was I lied. <laughs> it's totally fine. All right, so PB and J here going straight after the Falco. Not even, like, electing to go on platforms, it seems. Actually, Z-Bad going to the platforms. Bad position there for him. Gets shined off stage for the first stock. Did Good he job. get shined out of his double jump there? It seemed like it. Cause yeah, because he, he didn't jump after he got shined, and he just fell like a rock. I actually like that DI from both players. Yeah. They both dared each other and DI smashed DI'd out. Like you said, everybody smashed DI'ing nowadays, so... Got to add your own little flavor in on it now. It's true. It's good to see players do that because back then, you know, a lot of these combos, people would just immediately dismiss these characters as totally broken. You know, you can't get out of the combos. But no, with enough practice, you can get out of these combos. Yeah, for sure. Ah, wait, double laser the wrong way. Both players just trying to get control of the stage at this point. PB&J seems to have a little bit more control of center at, uh, right now. But Zbet... Ooh, Mid right. Loves the edge guard a little bit. Yeah, I was actually surprised after the dare he didn't even opt for another move. But he's in a good position now. Nice. nice just grab ledge. All right, three stocks apiece. That'll actually look like a risky situation for PB and J because Zbat just went for a crouch cancel shine. Yeah, he was a little he's a little too high for the crouch cancel to actually work out at this point. Nice, nice shine down air. Oh my god, Zbet throwing in the combos Whoa. right now. Nice forward smash, and PB&J loses a second stock just like that. Very impressive. PB&J dropping that tech chase right there. Not even tech chase, the punish. Really? He crouch canceled the, the up smash, so it wouldn't kill him. You hear Falco screaming like that. He sh If he didn't DI like that, he or uh, crouch cancel, sorry, he would have died just like that. Yep. Well, there you have it. Two stocks of peace now, PB&J. Nice light shield. <laughs> switching, switching between normal shield and light shield, does that um, make your shield last a little longer? I you actually know? have to ask him the what, what's the science behind that. I, yeah, because I, 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 I see him doing it a lot, but I don't normally see people do that for whatever reason. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, nice. Good so up smash. quick on these up smashes. Gets the back air punish on that side D. No, it misses the back air, though. Yeah, that was actually really good recovery from Z-Bat. Z bet rather. Woo! Been getting the punishes on the side B's now. Only missed that that first try. 
All right, here we go. PB&J again alternating with the shields. Oh, it looked like he was expecting to grab. Try to spot dodge, but still got punished. <gasps> and Didn't I, shield after the tech that time. I actually like how confident Z-Bet is with these forward smashes. A lot of players are usually reserved, you know, with their uh, big smash attacks. All right, PB&J. Right there, just basically using his rushdown to stop Falco from shooting a laser. If he gives him any room, Falco can shut him down, uh, lock him down with lasers, and then apply pressure. Yeah, this is a, this is getting pretty intense now. Zbet off the stage again, punishes with the side B. He's not sweet spotting his side Bs very well. He's uh, always recovering high with them, and PBJ is definitely catching on to that, up smashing him just about every time. Ooh. Okay, well, uh, I was about to say, if PBNJ didn't manage to get a hit off of Zbat there and Zbat locked him down, Zbat, Zbat could have actually gotten the combo and ended that stock because Valko, around that percent, could still basically combo Fox to death. Yeah, for sure. Always got to be careful with that against Falco, especially when you're one, when you're either of the spaces, because at low percents, Falco just can combo you forever. Oh, wow. And PBJ shining Zbat out of the combo. All right, and uh, Zbet's counter pick was actually to Dreamland. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is a, a pretty good stage for both of them. Uh, Falco can definitely use the platforms pretty well, but Fox can live a lot longer. Yeah, so. I, def I definitely agree with that as well. Um, Falco, Falco definitely has some longevity. The thi well, another thing too about this stage, how big it is, actually allows Fox to run circles around Falco if he so chooses. Yes. Know? It doesn't look like PBJ is opting to do that yet. Uh, it looks like he's trying to rush Falco down at this point. Uh, Zbet yang away. Okay, yeah, he, <laughs> he always recovers high with those side Bs, and PBJ just keeps catching on to those. Yeah, look at that, and uh, Zbet laughing right now. Probably, oh no, I thought he was recognizing that PBJ caught on high again. Yep. Pretty hard to adjust your uh, your recovery like that mid match, but well, three stocks each. Let's see. PBJ, he's on the offensive right now, man. No time wasted. Zbet going on the offensive here now. Flo loves the drop through the platform. I feel like he wanted to drop through and do get another down air off, but he ends up down smashing on the platform, and I feel like that was a little bit of a missed tech there. PBJ recovering high with the side B now. That was actually a really good height, uh, given that uh, Zbet tried to shoot a laser, short hop laser. He went above the height of the short yeah. hop laser. Good tech chase. Very impressive indeed. Looking for a double jump? Is he gonna... Oh, no side B on stage there. That's unfortunate. Alright, stuffs his, uh, whatever he was trying to do with that down air. Nice laser. Ooh, nice stock by Zbet there. Very impressive. Two stocks each now. PB and J. Nice bear. Just showing a bit of some respect to Zbet. Just waiting yeah. for him to get an opportunity to shine or get a grab. Ooh, but Zbet still swinging. Nice dares as well. Ooh, missed the little laser there. Might have gotten a reset off of that. Nice. nice forward smash, yeah. Especially with the fact that he wave dash back. That was really impressive. Zbet's starting to catch on the PBNJ's recovering high now, too. Re uh, punished him with that shine, recovering to the top platform. Now he has control of center stage because of that. Let's see if he uh, just grabs ledge or. Oh, very unfortunate. I for feel Z like he could have just rolled onto the stage and Fox would have died there. Yep. And even if he Try, did... Trying to do the utmost. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I was going to say, too, is like if that ledge hop bear, he could have faded into the stage yeah. after doing it instead of just falling straight down. That's like the second SD, unfortunately, for yeah, Z-Bet in this game. For sure. Unfortunate when things like that happen, but that time he got, like I said, he got caught doing uh, the utmost, and now we're back to... We were back to even. Now pb and just taking advantage of it. Right. Nice lasers, though, by Z-Bet. PB and J just waiting for his opportunity. There it is. Gets the shine, but Zbet's still swinging. That get up attack taking away all the momentum in the world. Nice pressure by PB and J. Misses the punish there. Wow, this Ooh. could go to a game three. This is getting intense right now. Zbet definitely <gasps> trying to go in. Ooh, that was a good get up Ooh. attack by PB and J. That literally won him the game. Wow. All right. Just one of those conditioning things, like he wasn't doing the get-up attack the entire game and saved it for that one moment. Yeah, I was actually at the edge of my seat, held my breath when I saw that happen. Anther versus Kataro. Oh, 